This is Tony of Tony's Music. I've uh, decided to do you a walkthrough of Doodley from when you first um, turned it on. Um, you got your version up the top left hand corner, which is Doodley version 2, 4, 13. That's the latest edition as far as I'm aware. And you've got the Doodley sign there, which is which you can quit from there. Edit, you've got the n normal stuff which is undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, and select all. View, toggle to full screen. Window, minimize and close. And help, where you've got customer support, customer community discussions, request center, and video tutorials. So if you want the d tutorials that are on the help section. Right, now. And, uh, on the first part here, um, it just gives you the doodly sign, which is their logo. Then it tells you where you, where my videos are, which are here. And there's my membership, which is Enterprise, and that's me. And if you go to user details, you can log out on this part, and it gives you user details as well. I'm not going to show that. Uh, but, you know, that's where you go for the information that you need. Right, then it tells you your projects. You can add a new folder to make your own special project and put your different uh, videos in that project so that you can keep them separate from the other projects, uh, which is a good idea, I suppose. And then it gives you the total of the projects that you've done so far, or what the, if you've got a total on. And it tells you when they're created, when there was last modified, the length of the actual film, how many scenes you've done on it. And then you've got edit, retitle, duplicate, or um, delete. So you can delete it on this page. And it should show you every single one of the videos that you've done, which you haven't deleted from off uh, Doodly. If you de delete them off Doodly, you won't see them here. But if you don't delete them, they'll still be on here. Right. Then lower down here, we've got um, your Doodler toolbox, which is all the stuff that you can buy from Doodly, including the Delete Doodly Elite Masterclass or Voomly. Uh, Voomly is mainly for business uh, and salespeople, really. I'm not one of them, so I don't have it. And Doodly Elite Masterclass, I can do what they can do on there anyway. So. I'm pretty good with that, so I don't need to do that. There's this little sign here, which is a, an up arrow, which you click on that and it just takes them off. If you want to just have a look more at your projects and back like that, right? So that's basically the first page what you come to. Then you can either click on a video that you're already doing or you start a new video. So we're going to start a new video for you. Right, and we're going to use, you can either use whiteboard, which is pretty reasonable, it's, it's like a whiteboard you have at the school. Then you've got the chalkboard, which are black or green, you can have either of those. Then a glass board, which you can draw from the back of it, and so that, that's pretty neat that is, I like that one the best. Or you can have a custom made um, background, which could be any colour, or with the custom one, if you go on to the custom one, which I will do in a second, um, there is a special trick you can do with that, which is pretty cool as well. So let's just do that one first. Uh, let's just put a, a name of a title in. Um, let's try custom board. Right, so we'll do that. Right, so there we've got the custom board. And we can change the resolution size to whatever you might want so you got 360p which is 640 by 360 then you got 480p which is 854 by 480p 720p which is 120 now 1280 by 720 or 1080p by uh, 1080p which is 1920 by 1080 or you got Facebook and Instagram or custom if you go custom on there you can change you can change the width and height to whatever you want by just knocking off the constraint aspect ratio and put it square if you want to 
or something like that but I don't do that I'll go to um, 1OIT usually I use that one so what we're going to do we're going to try the custom one for the moment and if, if you say it's come on custom it's got marker now I don't know what that is marker or chalk oh so you can use marker or chalk on it if you use a marker you won't get the chalk effect if you use the chalk obviously you get the chalk effect right so that's that's what that is I don't, I don't know that but that's the thing I haven't tried because I've done custom before but not from the start off like so anyway so we, we're on a custom one now what we can do is go to scene settings uh, use board let's take that off and you, you can change custom color you can change that to oh, any of them colors you want like that right and then you can click on this you should be able to click on this and custom image and you can put your own image on that's what I was going to show you so let's go and look for an image hang on we're at the wrong thing here these are videos you can't put a video on look it won't let you do that I bet now it's not an image there you go you have to click on an image so I'll go and find an image All right. so we've got some images let's have a look at my clip art try that let's try one of these yeah let's have something like this let's try that might be too big might be okay though let's just do that'll be okay wouldn't it something like that let's do that yeah so we've got that image now it's going to apply that on which is that looks pretty good and then you can add a character don't know why it would be there like that though but yeah there you go you add your character like that and that's pretty good isn't it you know so that's uh, that's the custom one anyway let's get out of that and go back to my videos if you have a look there is a sign to set my video so you can go back and discard that I uh, just just showing you how to use a custom board right now go back on to no title which is another one I've got ready for doing this and I'm going to change that to glass board right I change it to glass board and I'm going to change oh I put too many S's you don't matter right what I'll do is I'll go on to some scene settings and then change the board to the glass board because I like the glass board it's pretty good right now now we're doing the walkthrough and this is this is using a glass board right so um, we've still got the same things up there now we're in the new area right you've got first of all scenes scene settings you've got your characters your props your text your sounds and audio so you can put your voice over in there and things like that then you've got the marketplace and there's an arrow there which you can knock all that off and put it back on if you need it right so you can make more screen room right now if you get to scenes first you got you got all these scenes that are here which are part of their group of stuff that they, they put on for you there's a hell of a lot of them to be honest they've, they've added a lot more lately so there's, there's a lot of um, different scenes you can use in fact I've used some scenes for different things on this and uh, there's some nice nice scenes on there and then I did some more as well so that's great um, and then you just you just pull them across and put one on uh, let's try that one Adam and Eve one uh -huh. that's it so don't eat from this tree <laughs> right um, that's that right now there's a categories here which um, is useful because it's got all and my library so that's all including my library and my library is the ones that you do yourself I haven't got any on the scenes obviously but on characters I will have some because I've, I've put some of my own stuff on there's characters right now you can you can add a character just by dragging it the same as you do with the thingy and um, there's lots of characters I've, I've added some of my own if you go on to categories my library it'll show you all the ones I've added well, there's a lot of even that's my little oh boy that is Charlie I'll put him on there now add right you can replace with a picture or you can you know 
That's a picture of my little boy. He's a good boy, he's. Put him there. Right, um, and what else can you do? Oh, yeah, if you want to add your own characters, like that, you just put, press the plus button, browse, and you go to wherever they are, which you'd be on mine, it'd be on my own PNGs, wouldn't it? So, my PNGs. Right, so I've got some characters here. Can't show you. I'll do. Uh, I'll do an alien coming on. I should do that one instead. I'll do that one instead. Put the alien on. Oh, he's too big. Oh dear. I forgot about that. Actually, he's too big. Um, let's do this Arab instead. The Arabian man, and king. I'll do. He's all right. I'll have to check that alien. I've got to put that right. There he is. Straight on. No problem. The only thing is, if you got, if you put something like this on. You might have to do the path, and to do that, you press this little um, pencil button. I have done a tutorial on path, so please see that one for this. I'm not going to do it in this. And the next one is settings. So if you click on that, you can see this the x and y position of the actual character at the moment, his width and his height, uh, his rotate setting, because you can have him rotated at a different angle or flipped opposite way round, you know, from left to right. Um, the colour, I don't know whether that really affects it much, or the opacity will affect it, because it, if you put it 50% opacity, it's semi-see-through. And then, it, initially, the enter animation is draw, and it, it, it automatically goes on to three seconds. But if you want to, you can knock that off and put none, right? And you can have the exit animation as a raise, and that'll go on to three seconds. So it it come on automatically and erase after three seconds. So or it would take three seconds to erase it. So it would automatically erase. I think straight away. Let's just uh, apply that first, and let's just do uh, get rid of that because I don't want to put that on. Um, let's preview that and we'll see what happens. Right. This is all nice. That's been put on nicely. Yeah. Okay, so then two characters there, and he's just oh, oh yeah, just automatically erased straight away. That's the trouble with that. That's that's what you can't do. It you see like that. what you'd have to do is you have to have him up straight away, and to have him on for a little bit, you'd have to copy, uh, duplicate the actual scene, and have him erased on the second scene rather than on the first one. So don't erase it straight off because that doesn't work very well. You know, so if you want him straight on, you just turn on, and you know it won't draw him. But you, if you want to draw him, you have you have to change it back to draw a lot, and you can change that to however much you want it to take to draw it. If you draw it for a long while, sorry, that just went funny then. And on right, so I'll do that right. Um, it depends on how much you want people to see how, how much you draw really well right, so that's that um, next you get to props you can pick up any objects the different objects I've, I've put a lot of these on myself so look my library animals you can go to animals and pick up the animals oops what have I done there I've done something wrong that's gone to my marketplace. I clicked on that by accident. There's a fox there. That would be uh, ideal. Oh, it's an Arctic wolf. Sorry, <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> There's an Arctic wolf. I don't know what he's doing in the middle of Eden, but there you go. But uh, that's the sort of thing you get on the props. You can get animals. Well, let's have a look. Birds, brand. Good. It's gone off. Electronics, food, furniture, general, household, household items, all sorts of household items and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff on here. Right. I haven't put all these on. These are mainly what, what the doodly have put on. Sales office supplies. I mean I put a lot of stuff on myself, but these are, none of these are, are mine. More stuff is in um my library. Yeah. They just come up with more stuff there. So I'll put on, put a load of stuff on there. I'll, I'll put a load of stuff on. So, 
but uh, so some of these I've designed myself and some of them are designed by Doodly and the packages that they uh, send out especially if you've got ex Enterprise which I have you get extra packages for that being uh, a good member like you know um, as well as that we're on to text now and these are all the texts all you got to do is just grab one put it on like that you can click on it um, you got the settings the asset settings you can change the colour to yellow like and then you have to apply it and it come up yellow All right, so let's just uh, bring that up a bit make it bigger so you can see it there you go right on it's the wrong colour really but you know that's, that's good colour anyway I mean I should have put a different colour on so you can see it better that's what I mean but that's how you put the t text on um, music you you can use the music that's on here some of these are what I've put on myself let's do music like that a new dawn this is this is their music so you, all you do is you just drag it down plonk it on and it'll come up in a minute on the music there you go now if you want to put um, yeah I'll put I'll go back onto my library because I have some stuff on there which is which I might have anyway dude right that's I'll try that one put that one on they should say something because it's it's that's me talking on there on that bit so what you do is with the um, voice have you put on the voice over track which is the bottom one and the music goes on the music track right so you make sure you got the music down to about 10% or something so you can hear the the volume of your speaking so let's just put that on so you can hear it I don't know what I, what I said on it hello this is Tony at Tony's Music I'd like to say I hope you enjoy this video tutorial um, and I hope you have a good day okay so you heard that quite nicely didn't you there you go so that's what you do you put the voice over there if you want sounds on um, sound effects or say the wolf uh, owling I wonder if we've got any we've got, um, I don't know whether there is any on there but there might be froggy beep game beep gong helicopter horn I don't know loud pop but maybe a bark or something no there ain't nothing I don't know whether there is anything now we'll just put anything on then what should we do sky fire stun gun should we put that on put that on no oh, I'll, I'll need to make a what's it first sorry add a track first then you put your sky fire stun gun on put that on about about there right so right so we'll just preview that Hello, this is Tony at Tony's Music. I'd like to say I hope you enjoy this video tutorial um, and I hope you have a good day. Okay. Oh, you heard that? Yeah, that worked pretty good, didn't it? So what you need to do is whenever you do a sound, you need to add a music track. Don't put it on the voice track. The voice track it's just for voiceovers and you can add more voiceovers as you go along you know you, you can just um, as you can see there's a voiceover track there you can do that uh, or you can add, add one that you can do with this so you can do oh no here comes the uh, alien with his tongue gun that's it right that's how you do that so so I've just added that using the voiceover from uh, Doodly itself. So we can just preview it. Hello, this is Tony at Tony's Music. I'd like to say I hope you enjoy this video tutorial um, and I hope you have a good day. Okay. Oh no, here comes the uh, alien with his tongue gun. There you go. Right. That's how you do that. Mm. So that's. Uh, adding a voiceover inside Doodly as well uh, if you want to delete it just delete it like that uh, and go okay 
um, you can also um, fade in and fade out on them by, by right clicking at the end and the same with the music you, know, you can delete it and when you get to the end of the music the music will stop at the end of the scene so it doesn't matter how long it is on here if the, the end of the scene comes that's when it will stop so what you need to do is you need to take it back to where the scene end is right or you could add extra scenes and have it playing through I suppose you could do that so but we're going to just show you how what to do when you have it like this right so you go right back to there right so we get it there now you can fade out and if you use the fade out you can drag oops I'm going you can drag so there's a line there which is part of the triangle of the of that get on it what the bloody hell is playing up for I don't know ah hang on you've got to get it that, that particular shape right, and you can drag it to make it longer a longer fade right Um, that was just playing up for me then I don't know why <laughs> oh never mind at least I've showed you how to drag the fade along so it's longer right and you can shorten it back again if you want to and you can do the same on the fade in it's exactly the same thing right then so that's all of that sorted out now if you want a character or object um, drawn after something else you see this side here on the right side you've got um, your save which is usually greyed out most of the time because you don't need it most of the time because um, you can set it to automatic um, save anyway but these these plates here uh, what comes first and what what's the next uh, on the way down is the next one to be drawn right so first of all you get the background scene then you get the tree then you get the clouds then you get the words then you get the Adam and Eve beyond the bushes then my Ar Arabian king comes up and then the wolf and then whatever that is oh my double click and to, to text let's just get rid of that anyway don't need that so that one goes goes off right now say if you want to do the wolf before the Arabian king you just put it that way on you just, you just put the wolf in front sorry you have to do it that way and you can put a delay on which delays the time for when the wolf starts being drawn which means it gives you more time for watching Adam and Eve being drawn and that so you see them a couple of seconds right so that's the delay right and you can make them you can make them drawn a bit take longer to be drawn so you press duration and four seconds five seconds to draw Adam and Eve right now what we'll do is we'll get rid of a few of these other things so let's just delete that so it don't take so long to get round don't need that right so we'll just preview that so you can see hello this is Tony at Tony's Music I'd like to say I hope you enjoy this video tutorial uh, and I hope you have a good day ok now it's just taking longer for them to be drawn look as you see it took a bit longer now we're going to wait a bit before the, the wolf comes up that's it see that worked in the right way around then because I, I put the the king behind the wolf instead of in front so that's how you do that right now scene settings we'll go back into scene settings and have a look at that now you can while you you got it on glass board but if you want to do a new scene you can change it to one of the other boards if you want to and if you do you can change right hand to left hand there cartoon hands as well or now hand by clicking on them exit animation so if you do a scene you can have an exit animation swipe swipe right swipe up swipe down or erase or none 
so it doesn't have to have a um, a transition. Um, you've got your subtitles, so you can put some on on your subtitles, like um, "Welcome to my video." Like that. You have to do one for each scene. Um, that's a, a problem with it. Um, it would be nice if they could put um, be able to put the script in and you know the script and time the script or something maybe like that might might help. But um, you can change the font size and color. So font color is red, say, even though you're not supposed to read in red. But there we go, and then we can have the background in yellow or something like that. And then you put that on, apply that. Um, I don't know where, what the how do you change the font itself? I don't know. I think it doesn't give you an option to change the font. And underneath you've got the daily rainbow, which is the switch to switch it on and off. So you can switch that on and off, so you can have it black and white instead of uh, in colour. Right now we're gonna just show you hopefully with the subtitles on hello this is Tony at Tony's go. Music I'd like to say I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial um, and I hope you have a good day ok I ok ok that's, uh, that's pretty good and um, yeah as well as that let's go back up here um, let's just go on to the beginning if you have a look up here you can see it's got all there to give you all the things that are available which at the moment I haven't changed from my library to all you have to change from my library to all to get them all up right um, Shared is something to do with uh, sharing between affiliates, I believe, but I'm not 100% sure about that because I've never shared anything at the moment with that. So, um, Doodly Rainbow is on here as well, so you can switch that off if you want to. It won't affect the, what's it unless you you got it. I don't know that you can do it that way and do it now. It won't do that way. What you need to do is go on to a character there and you see. All the other characters are in black and white except for the ones that you put in yourself. Right? But if you change it to back on, it will change them back. Wait a minute, let's go back up. On. There you go, <laughs> them are back on. It's just the others was black and white anyway. Uh, these ones have just changed like that. Right? And you can search for what you want to as well. In that search bar, um, as well as that, over here you can save your project like that. The preview is for if if you want a preview, and it is useful when you do um, when you click on the um, pencil. If you want to do um, a path, you can do it this way by you click on the plus sign because it's already got path one you get around the outside save and return or return without saving or you could if you wanted to change from reveal mode to, from draw to fade which will fade it instead so you don't need the path you need fade and then it will fade in slowly and let's show you that save and return so we'll do that. Hello, this is Tony at Tony's Music. I'd like to say I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial um, and I hope you have a good day. Okay? And you'll see the Arab King in a minute. He'll uh, fade in very slowly. Well, it won't be that slow because I didn't change the time, but it'll be slow enough. See, that one's been drawn. And now he's fading in. Yeah. So that's that's a fading. Right. Um also these are the symbols up here you got all these symbols are on everything that are on the actual scene so you got the flip to flip things around so you say it's the, the
the wolf let's flip the wolf round like that you can bring him forward so he's at the front or take him back I think that also affects where they am on this side as well which it does yeah right it affects where they am on this side so you can see if you do flip up and go behind the tree and behind everything so you can't see him and then you'd have to go bring him back uh -uh. as you can see he goes, goes down on that side right now this you can this is the um, zoom in and zoom out for the scene so you can see better what you're doing like say if you want to go into a particular part and see what's happening with that you can do it that way right um, that's that now if we go down to the actual um, timeline you've got the settings here which are also the similar settings to what's up there they're not exactly 100% the same but most of it is but it gives you the resolution erase mode smart mode so you know it works out with finger with eraser or off so you can change it to whatever you want whether you want to use the finger or eraser uh, swipe left you can change the scene transitions video ends when animation ends you can change that so you can have the music playing a bit later and you can change the hands the cartoon hands you know and all that through that way as well as the other way right then you've got this plus here which is um, an actual special panning and zooming area which I have done a tutorial on but I'll just cover it a little bit here and by clicking on it and the FX comes up and it gives you the start which is usually locked because it expects you to keep it like that and then you can use the end and squish it in like that and do that and have it in the center part All right and I'll just show you how, how that works Right, so we start off hello this is Tony Tony's music I'd like to say I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial I've um, done it too early didn't I? I wait a minute sorry I didn't do that right <laughs> silly sod I forgot I've got to move it over a bit initially you got to move the first one over a bit because it starts up and you ain't got time so I'll move it over sorry that was my fault I never thought about it at the time never mind okay here we go. Hello, this is Tony at Tony's Music. I'd like to say I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial um, and I hope you have a good day. Pan in now. Okay. There you go. That's panning in. Right. Now, if you want to use it for uh, panning across, what you do is you, you, you can leave it there like that. Uh, wait a minute. Let's do, it. Let's do it differently. Let's just take that off there and change that. So, we're going to go put that across this way change that change the start so unlock unlock it so it can go down there you want it roughly the same size and go from there and you can apply it then stretch that across so it takes a long time to do like that All right so now we're going to go back on the beginning of the preview Hello, this is Tony at Tony's Music. I'd like to say I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial um, and I hope you have a good day. Okay. Now it's going to pan across now, so nice and steady. There you go, it's panning across. That's the panning across, right? You can use it more than once as well, the panning, so you can, you can pan and then add another one. And you, you don't have to put them together, you can separate them by, by quite a bit or you can take it off if, by just clicking the X you want to remove this effect from this on oh, yes of course I do right and that's basically it I think um, you, you, you turn up the sound by clicking on that you, you click on the actual um, speaker there or the speaker there or the speaker there um, you click on this plus button to add a voiceover on Doodly or if you go on to the, the music you can add your own 
somewhere. Where's the where's the add button? You just uh, import your own dia. If you, if you go on to all, there's the plus button, and you can add your own that way through uh, Audacity or something like that. You know, so you, you just drag it onto the thingy when it comes up on here. Simple as that, really. So To export the video you go on export here and you can change the name you can change the file format you can change the resolution so I'm going to change that back to 1080 and quality is maximum you can change that if you need to and the FIPS frames per second right so you can have a medium high quality maximum and constraint aspect ratio you can change that if need be if you change it to custom and uh, get to custom or and that so and then all you do is just go continue and then it all it should export um, if you have trouble with it exporting um, if it seems to be taking a long time what you can do is you can cancel it and export it a bit later on in the day because usually you find if it's taking a long while to export it's because there's a, a lot of traffic at the time on the internet uh, so it's your internet bandwidth is the, the, the main problem with the, how long it takes to export a, a, a video so um, you know one saying you can say in seven minutes at the moment so I mean that ain't a lot really considering um, but um, you know sometimes it could take you know it could say over an hour or something you know so if that's the case just cancel it and try a bit later because it shouldn't take that long really for most of them right um, I think that's it really that's all you got to do is just to export that's fine so that I'll do that in a short while anyway that's, that's basically everything I can think of on here um, I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave comments down below and please like and subscribe to Tony's Music oh yeah just one more thing this show grid here you can click on that and it comes up with a grid and you can hide that and you can click this button to give you more room on that side too that's, that's basically it I, I can't think of anything else now so have a good day and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye.